Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games. Broadcasting at 60 frames a second. Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to Atari. Yes, Pat. he's here. He's kind of under the under the uh, under the chat right the now. Text but right he's there. here. He's here. He's here. To, he's ready. He's ready to play. <laughs> he's ready to play some he's new games. He's all geared up to purr and encourage. So yes. Yes. Oh, sweetheart. he's very happy about oh, the whole happy. situation. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to everybody who is here live on Twitch and watching on YouTube later. Uh, we've got four games today. We've got uh, two exclusives. Tower of Rubble, mm -hmm. which is the exclusive final retail release version. Binary, not the box. It's coming in yeah. July. <laughs> um, but uh, the actual final build um, by Dion Olsthorn, Dionoid. Yes. Very, very good game. Can't wait to play it again. So we'll be looking at the updates on that. Mm. Uh, we also have B Blocks, which is a brand new game. Mm. We've got an exclusive build of that that uh, was sent to me an hour ago. Nice. Very exciting. Yeah. Um, very last minute by the sounds of it too. Very last minute. <laughs> but that's exciting. Yes. Um, we've got Just Jeff, one of the developers that's in the chat nice. with us. And he just said, can you believe Twitch already has Just Jeff and Just Jeff... So you had to put just Jeff with, with like four Fs. Yeah. That's hilarious. Uh, we're also going to be playing Jungle Adventure from 2013 by Atarius Maximus. And Brick slash Brick 180 by Repixel8. Hmm. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers of which there are a record number yet again. So many. So many. I think there's 36 of them. Which is quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Alnifer, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Check, Dianoy, Danny VC, Glenn, Maine. Oh, yeah, down the side there. Great Defender, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Janzel, NL, John Enitro, Johnny WC23, Jupiter Storm 17, Carl G, Croco 2600, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari 1969, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, Packrat VG, RC70, Repentless VG. Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Sir Catleg, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spiceware, Esther Mears 2008, The D Train 37, Welshman 89, Thunkist, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. So many names. Mm -hmm. And a lot. And they're falling off the screen. They are falling they off are. the screen. They're getting tinier and tinier yeah. and tinier. We'll see and what the happens. The font just shrinks and shrinks and shrinks. Yeah. Soon it's you'll have tiny. to have two columns. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so many. Yeah. And thank you to all the people who are in the chat as well. Um, and you can support the show and get your name on the list uh, for free. Um, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe, it's absolutely free. It's a bonus that uh, Amazon gives you and Twitch gives you mm -hmm. um, to get your name on mm -hmm. that list. Which is great for us. Very, very nice yeah. for us. Very yes. nice for you. And you get a little symbol beside your name as well. Yes. If, you, if you're in the chat right now, you can see... Yeah. All these people who are founders. Look yeah. at that. Ground Trooper, who's a 20-month subscriber. Mr. Fix, 23-month, and they just resubscribed today. Excellent. Um, at the top of the show, S. Ramirez, 13-month subscriber. Yeah. Captain Classic, 6 months. D-Train, 37, 9 months. And we've also got Thrust, 26, Metal Atari, 1969 in the chat. Dan oh, AVC, see. just Jeff... <laughs> uh, Splendid Nut, uh, Carl G. Ricardo Pym, Prow7, Packrat, VG, I think I might have said Lots of people here today, that's awesome. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, think, I think you've think got... I think I got everybody yeah. who's typed. There's lots of lurkers as well. Yeah. Who don't want to talk. Um, I love the symbol. Yeah. The Zed? Zed I like the Zed with the rainbow. I, I yeah, have to say nice the nine-month one. one is really nice. Yeah. yeah. It changes, obviously. It does. Depending on the number it's of good. months. But, uh, glowy one. For yeah. Glowy Zed. Golden Zed for yeah. a six-month. And a yeah. rainbow for nine. Thirteen is a more, even what? more complex. One symbol. year's. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of hard to make out, but... Uh, yeah, no, it's very cool. One month gets uh, a white. Yeah. Uh, Zero-page homebrew. Yeah. Oh, and a three-month badge it's is new. a blue. <laughs> Did you pick those, or was it just, is it something they I randomly... You made them? Of course. Oh, they don't course. have, they don't have well, I don't custom zero-page homebrew I don't know if they icons. just take the title and, like, play no. with it, or... No, no. And the, I mean, that makes sense, but... It does, yeah. yeah. No, uh, I don't know why I put a one there beside the Z and a one. It's a nine, I think. Is it a nine? Yeah, oh, okay. I it's think just it's just really, really tiny. Small. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, make sure you subscribe and follow and click on all the things, Twitch and YouTube and Facebook, so you know when things are coming up. Um, yes, I did design the merchandise. I try and design everything I can. I can put things together. I can't draw things. Well, you're good with you're good with in Photoshop. You can yeah. you can you can play with that. Yeah. But I can't like create it from nothing usually. Yeah. Like if it's letters and numbers and and effects on them, I can do that. Yeah. But like creating a cat in pixel form, I got somebody else to do the cat. Yeah. yeah. From uh, Fiverr, I think. Something like that. Yeah. 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 Um so yeah, I can I can put it together and, and you know, put in the right format and upload it and make sure it looks good on a t-shirt and mm -hmm. whatever, but yeah. So I try and do all that because it's fun too. Mm -hmm. um, so mail, news, feedback. Um, oh, we've got a box actually. Yay! So let's do that first. Presents I are fun. I know what it is. <laughs> now where's the best way to open it? Ooh, I think it's there. Oh, the cat's like no. <laughs> no scissors, no. No, I'm danger, danger. I'm not. James gonna... has something sharp. <laughs> Run away. Not that that's inherently dangerous. It just could be dangerous. It just could be. Oh my goodness. There we go. Yeah. Things, we like to seal things up well. Yeah. Well, you don't want them falling out during shipping. No. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you now might have to sides. do the edges too. I'm scared just watching you do that. Well, that's pointed away from me. <laughs> the, the blade. So that if it does slip out. It only goes towards inanimate objects. Mm -hmm. I know what this is. Sometimes you I do. don't and I forget, but well, it also has it on the back, so <laughs> yeah, it does say exactly what, like <laughs> exactly what it is. Shipped across a border. So. Sometimes they're like video game equipment, and like hmm, mm, could be what, anything. What could that be? Sometimes it's it's exact. Very specific. Yeah. So this is really exciting, actually, because it allows us to play more games on the show, yeah. which is always good. So this is uh, from the Brewing Academy, and it is, let me just take this out so it's a little bit easier to see. It is a cartridge, and is the um, Ultimate Atari cartridge. It's actually called, let's get the right name of it. Um, TBA's the Brewing Academy's Ultimate A8SD cartridge for the Atari 400, 800, XL, XE, and 1088XEL XLD in neon green. You're mm -hmm. able to pick because they print these. They, um, you can tell it's a printed uh, cartridge. Yeah, and it's not too bad though. It's not too bad. It's a little wavy in places, but you know that's how you can tell. But uh, oh, it's pretty cool. So sometimes they have little yeah. sharp edges, but this one's. It's not too bad. This one's not too bad. It's got no. a little Atari symbol on the back. Yeah. Um, and it's got a reset button, so it, it resets the system. Yeah. You can pick a different game because if you press reset on the system, it just resets the game, but this and the reset takes it back to the menu. So you can pick a different mm, game okay. and it's got an SD card slot, nice. which is always nice. So you can just load up more games and, mm -hmm. and play some more. Very cool. Um, and also I got along with that, they offer a preloaded um, SD card nice. full of homebrew. Oh, nice. And I thought, well, I don't really have a lot downloaded. I wouldn't do that with um, like an Atari 2600 because I've got a lot of downloaded, but for the 8-bit system, um, computer system, I don't have a lot downloaded. So this is a good kind of starter mm. thing that they offer. Um, so that's really, really nice. And it's, I don't know how big it is, eight, eight megs? Eight gigs, I mean, lots of room left over. Yeah, eight gigs. So very excited about that. Oh, and comes with a manual as oh, well, nice. um, which is pretty much just put it, put the games on the uh, SD card and <laughs> play. Probably list. Does it list the games that are on there too? Or I no? don't think so. No. I mean, you can just get a directory. Uh, oh, this is just an order catalog. Yeah. No, no, no. It is. Yeah. Okay. And some more and some more stuff that they nice. offer. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, it's a flash cart for the Atari 800. And I have an XEGS system, um, which is the game system, which is the non-computer, I guess, system. Yeah. Um, but it still has all the functionality yeah. of it. It can play all the games. It's which essentially is... the computer. It's just a 
Just different form different factor. Different form, yeah. And I am in the process of getting the keyboard for it, so I'll be able to play all the games. Yeah. Um, because if you don't have the keyboard, you can just play, like, just the joystick games and mm -hmm. things that load up and you don't need keys for. But some mm -hmm. games need keys, need keys so... Need keys, need keyboards. Yeah, so I thought I'd get that. And yes. I found somebody who has a keyboard, and they're going to be getting it to me soonish. Yay! Yay! Um, More games! Some, an update from Daryl Spice Jr. that I found in the forums uh, from Thursday. An update on his game Frantic and his upcoming uh, programming language, Spice C. And he says, I plan to reboot Frantic to use the CDFJ instead of the DBC+, um, like I did for Draconian after I finished the CDFJ tutorial in the Harmony Melody Club. So right now he's doing a programming tutorial on CDFJ, which utilizes the ARM uh, processor. Mm -hmm. um, and he's going to be using CDFJ to remake Frantic, which is like a Berserk-style game mm. where you move around mazes and go from screen to screen, except there's a lot more going on mm. in Frantic. And I don't think we've actually played Frantic on the show. I don't think I've played Frantic. So, so yeah. I will be kind of waiting um, to play Frantic in the new one probably the okay. new version okay. as he's developing cool. it so that will hold off yeah. for that i think um he says i was originally going to reboot frantic as a test case for spice c framework his new programming language but i've decided against it because the sprite drawing routines use custom logic um robot colors and moving eyes and that's not useful for other games so he's gonna he was gonna, gonna use it as a test case for explaining the spice c language mm. um but he's got such proprietary code in it that really wouldn't work for other people that it's not really a useful um test case for that and showing other people it's like well this is what i'm using for this game you will probably not use it for mm -hmm. yours so that's not really useful yeah um and i've decided to keep spice c on the back burner until frantic is finished mm -hmm. so the order is cdfj tutorial then frantic and then spice c okay yeah uh, updates about the re-release of Boulder Dash. Um, this game, which was released in small quantities a while ago, mm. um, from uh, Andrew Davy, he said, actually Albert first said, uh, because people were commenting, when is it coming out? Because mm. they're going to be doing a re-release. Okay. There's a thread in the Atari H forums for that, mm. because you can't you can't buy that right now, and yeah. it was never released on ROM. Uh, binary just a just a demo version yeah just a demo so people are like can we buy it too yeah. <laughs> uh, albert says once i get through the current round of games which are coming out in july yeah. including the one that we're playing at the top of the show tower yeah. of rubble yeah. um he says i'm working on uh current round of games i'm working on releasing this w that will be one of my top priorities mm -hmm. so he'll be working on getting boulder dash put together like the the um box mm -hmm. the cartridge label and the manual mm. um and then andrew davy also added boulder dash is and ha has been ready to go but it's the 3e bank switch version which is i i believe the, this type um the bank switching you use for this mm. um, version of it i suggest we might try implementing 3e plus version a month or two back because it might improve the speed it's proven a much more difficult task than converting chess because he started his new um, game chess in 3E, and he want, he's converting it to 3E+. Plus, and just a different configuration of memory, uh, RAM and ROM, um, for in terms of programming. People who program it's interesting too, but people who are just playing it, it's like, I don't know, just give me the game. <laughs> <laughs> um, so already, although 3E is ready to go and perfect, so it's ready, 3E Plus is in the wings. I expect by the time all the work is done on the manuals, boxes, and specifically uh, legal agreements, then 3E Plus might be ready. But I wouldn't want to be counting on 3E Plus being in the released version. So either way, he's he's like, well, it's either... It's going to get released. It's going to get released when yep. the boxes and manuals are nice. done. Yeah. Oh, and Thomas is saying 3E Plus is more flexible. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And they're currently sorting out the legal stuff. Mm -hmm. Because it's a conjunction of multiple parties. I mean, there's Thomas, there's Andrew Davey, there is Atari Age, and there is the people who own the rights to uh, Boulder Dash, which used to be First Star um, Software, but they got re bought by somebody else or taken over, and that's what has actually um, made it able to be released again. Mm. 
because the new owners are, uh, there it is, BBG Entertainment. Nice. So they're a bit more flexible, I, I'm guessing, in their uh, licensing. Okay, yep. cool. Um, so that is the update um, on Boulder Dash. So that is coming very, very soon. That's exciting. Yeah. Because a lot of people will be very interested oh, in buying yeah. it. It's very difficult for very, me. Well, <laughs> yeah. But it is a great puzzle game. It is, yeah. Um, very, very challenging. Ah, mm. Germany-based. Excellent. So let's move on to our first game, Tower of Rebel. This is a 2020 exclusive final retail build, supposedly. I'm sure there might be minor tweaks, but this is very, very, very close, if not the final build of Tower of Rebel. It's by Dion Olsthorn, Dionoid. He said he would try he says i hope i can join the show later today today is my 50th birthday and i'm eating out with my family so i have a tight schedule <laughs> so happy birthday to dion yeah Olsthorn. he's in there oh yeah. is he here yeah yeah oh you know good there? good excellent yeah, welcome happy dion birthday, happy dion. 50th birthday dion yeah um i'm i won't give the exact date but my birthday was this week too so yeah so we have you know very, multiple birthdays very close yeah <laughs> very close birthdays very close birthdays but happy happy 50th yes happy yeah. 50th hopefully you have a, a good day today yeah. and uh had a good uh, uh dinner or going to have a good dinner not sure what time it is over there it's eight hours plus so yeah dinner time seven eight o'clock yeah. yeah um so this is tower of rubble this was first posted december 21st 2018 this build is from june 17th 2020 at least that's when it was passed to me Let's get that going. <laughs> oh, let's get. Atari Vox Ready. Atari Vox going because it does actually use Atari Vox. Hopefully that will come up. Yay! Okay. Where's my remote? No. Oh. oh, buried. Hiding. Buried with the new electronics. Big piles everywhere. Oh, somebody said happy birthday yes, to you, too. Yes, I saw the that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Lots of birthdays. Lots of birthdays. Um, so this is an 8K game. Um, other games by uh, Dianoid is Amoeba Jump, uh, the upcoming Fool's Gold, hmm. and Tower of Rubble that we're going to be playing right now. Older builds of this game are available on the Atari Age forum. Um, last time we played it was April 5th uh, hmm. of this year. So, yeah, go for it. Um down to Tower of Rubble. So he messaged me a couple days about uh, the Tower of Rubble's impending release. Uh, second one, I believe. Yep. Uh, s there we go. Make sure that's the right volume. So leave it on here. Don't press a button. <laughs> so uh, we've got a new title screen here. Um, let me just read out what he says. As you might know, Tower of Rubble is coming to the Atari Age store this summer. Um, yeah, you can play around with that. Just yeah. don't press one. Um, Dave Dries has done the artwork. Dave Dries? Dave Dries, I think. What do you think? Wait, weren't, weren't we having forget. this discussion before? <laughs> yeah, I always forget. Um, and it looks pretty cool. And you can see the artwork right on your screen. Let me just get rid of the chat just for a second. So you can see the whole thing. There's the full artwork there, at least for the... I'm sure it'll be the same for the cartridge and for the box. might be slightly different. So let me put the chat back on. There we go. Um, I've also done some visual changes to the game so it matches the colors of Dave's artwork. Mm. So the color of the tower and rubble have changed from red to petrol. Never heard of that color. Petrol? Petrol. <laughs> That's what he describes it as. Kind of bluish aqua. Yeah, I like it. I like Some it. green good. lines in there. Um, the sea has has been replaced by uh, with lava to better align with the new uh, ICANN uh, lore uh, backstory. So you can see now it's kind of red yeah. and yellow. And, and, and with the lines flashing yep. through. It's so it used, it used to be kind of uh, waterish. Mm. Mm -hmm. The color of diesel. <laughs> The color of diesel. <laughs> ah, okay. Yep. Maybe. maybe that makes yeah. sense, I yeah. guess. Dark and that shiny bluey green color. Yeah. 
but uh, I haven't heard that before. Either. And the game uses thick yellow laser beams instead of thin green ones. Ah, and, uh, he so says it looks better on quite screen. Quite a few color changes then compared yeah. to the last, the last build. Okay, so we've got a new title screen here. Um, it says practice here and then push fire to start the game. Mm -hmm. And it's got the one player in lines. And there's multiple options. Two player versus, one player pro, and one player. So we're just going to play one player first okay. off. Oh. Now, the color's not being replicated perfectly. No? Over. But don't you worry about that. It's from what we're seeing on the screen to what it's broadcasting. Color is very subjective. <laughs> Um, because it depends on how everything is, uh, set up. So let me just... Oh, not fast enough. Yeah, you have just a little bit of time, so let me just play with the filters here. Okay. <laughs> That's more what it's like. I'm gonna see if I can just... That's better. That's more like it. Better color? Yeah, I just had to shift the hue just over just a touch. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't wreck other games, but that's very accurate to what I'm seeing on the screen. So, um, he said before, this is a pattern, um, so, so that there's no situations yes, yeah. where you can, there's, uh, let me phrase it away, there's always a way that you can survive. Yes. Yeah. It may not be easy, and you may not have chose the right path, Yeah, but, it, but it, there's always a way. It does mean you can learn the pattern and get better and, and yes. get further ahead, which makes a lot of sense. And, but he says he can't even follow the pattern, because it is a complex pattern. There's a lot of moves to it. Like, um, to get it back to what it mm -hmm. was originally, because the way it sh shapes the islands is that it starts with a center island, and then builds the outer islands mm. and destroys the center. So you need to get over to that other island very soon because the, the middle is going to dis disappear. You should get over to that island. Now you can't anymore. Now you can get over to the other island. Get over. Oof. There you go. Almost ended up in the, in the lava. So, and then those islands kind of join together, I believe. Yeah. And then destroy yeah. from the outside yeah. in. Uh, and then start rebuilding Definitely. Ah, Ooh, was something close. that uh, was sort of happening in the, the last version, if I recall. Yeah. S. Ramirez has to go to his Father's Day activities. Yes. Yeah. Enjoy Father's Day, all the fathers out there. I'm sure there are quite a yes. few in the chat. Yep. Usually there are a father or have a father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or are a cat father. Yes. <laughs> Of which I'm a cat father. <laughs> An adoptive cat father. Yes. I didn't... I and you didn't have a fa father? You have a father-in-law. So. I have a father-in-law. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, let's see. Looking... Estimator says, Looking forward to my purchase of Tower of Rebels. So am I. This is going to be a really nice uh, package. So you can see the lasers that drop the bricks are now yellow, mm -hmm. which is a nice... A very nice color. And color of you know lasers ah. ah get up you have a lot of time there that's a dangerous position where you're kind of like stuck on a yeah. disintegrating block you can't really go anywhere there you go yeah you know all the moves ah that's not great not a great spot <laughs> always make sure I'm dead. Yeah. yeah always oh, make sure there no, no you couldn't have done over. anything no okay so all now right. 165 not bad not bad not bad at all and this uses the um, Atari Vox for saving scores. Excellent. So we're going to go to... About to pass high school of 157. Sure. <laughs> 165. So he's also included a pro version of the game. Which which means what? Which means it's random. That means... Oh, yeah. We played... I think... You may not earlier survive. Earlier versions... We played random version of... Was there a we have played this. Any early, earlier version? 
Yeah, this was I in there. I think so. I think there was a random. The random is hard. Random's really hard. There's no guarantee you're going to survive in the Like, random. I could... No. There's not necessarily a path. Oof. And it's not an island. It's it, There's no pattern is this the, to it. Is this the pro? Yeah. This is what you're playing right now. Okay. Yeah. 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 Chances of survival is very low. Well, <laughs> very low. It's, it's a little bit more challenging. But, but fun, too, because it's not the same pattern, right? Yeah. So, so you don't know what to expect. Yeah. I you might end up with this, with these horrible... Tall, tall buildings. Yeah. yeah. And things are just disintegrating around you. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go over here. <laughs> oh. Always be prepared to jump off. Well, yeah, if you're high, you can jump off, but if you're low, you can get Jesus. screwed pretty oh. quickly. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Oof. <laughs> oof. Oof. Definitely challenging. Ah, oh. uh, no, no, no. Nope. Nope. Kind of safe here for this, for the moment. For the moment. Oh, you want to get up to that top. Probably, oh. Always Jeez, get up high because was... falling down is fast. Climbing is yeah. very slow. And now you can jump across. I, ooh, I don't, I have to there. Oh, no, now, now I'm you're screwed. very screwed. Oh, boy. Unless, like, unless they make something, something to, next to you. Something has to well, drop to the right. Well, you had to jump. And oh, no. Uh, 96. Very you, cool. Play the pro. Played. Yes, there is a demo. You can download this in the Atari Age forums. Um, it's an older build of this game. Uh, I can't remember what the limitations are of what it has and what it doesn't have, but it at least has the one-player version. I don't know if it has the two-player. And we'll play the two-player after this to show that part off. Um, Carl T said, I'm glad the random version made it in too. Yeah, because it adds a lot to the gameplay. Um, and it keeps you on your toes. It's very good for practice. Very, very good for practicing and getting a high score in the long, in the uh, non-pro. Mm. High score, 157. Oh! Is... I did 165 on the... Ah! No! No! no. <laughs> you are I'm dead. screwed! <laughs> you are dead, yeah. Ugh. Yep. Uh, very good game, an excellent implementation. Yes. Yeah, this was... Um, oh, sorry, did you want to play? <laughs> no, no, you can play this one again. Yeah, um, I know you have something to this say. This was patterned... This was originally a DOS game. Ah! But this oh, one down, is... down, down, not up. This one's more patterned after the C64 version. Ooh. Um, and um, I brought this game to Dianoid's attention. I think I... Um, Posted it in Facebook saying, this looks like it could be made in an Atari. And ah. he ran with it. <laughs> and I'm really glad he did because he did an unbelievable job of, of porting this over to the 2600. Like there's nothing, nothing missing from it that you would, yeah, oh, climbing up is so climbing slow. Climbing is so slow, yeah. You have to be very fast. Yeah, can you hear the music sound? Music okay, good. Great. good, good, good. It's one of those Atari games where the background music doesn't get too annoying. No, it's very... Oh, it's... it's ah. And because it works within the game as well, it's oh, yeah. it's rhythmic to the dropping ah. of the bricks. Well, that was really close. You're in trouble. There you go. Get out of there. It's got a nice... And the loop of the music's not too long. Oh... He's got two choices there. Just keep going back and forth and hope there's no side laser. Oh, you're dead. No chance. <laughs> Actually, I probably could have stood there and then jumped back up, but still. I'm going to try the normal. Okay. Non-pro. See how, I, how high I can go. Your technical suggestions for slowly ramping up the difficulty ah, is actually Yeah, yeah it does seem to get... It's like... um. It starts off with just dropping bricks and then suddenly everything's dissolving and <laughs> dropping at the same time. It's really cool. It does get hard fast. You can stand longer in the beams than you think. Yes, that's true, because right. I could have saved myself if I stood yeah. in the beam, let the brick drop and jumped across. Really? Yes, because yeah. they're quite slow. But you, it's a risk, right? Like it's yeah. a risk that you're not going to do it fast enough. Climbing up is, is slow. So slow. Yeah. That's why if you have to climb up. It's like, ah, <laughs> that's why my tactics are always get high. Well, yeah. As high as you can safely. Yeah. Cause you can drop off really quick. 
yeah, there's definitely something to weighing out the timing of the bricks dropping versus things dissolving. Yeah. That's really cool. It's really, um, oh, it's frantic without feeling frantic in a yeah. weird way because it's, it's, it's very consistent. Um, it's like a metronome, the way things kind of fall. Yeah. Oh. And then get sure. over to the island when you have but, oh, are you at, playing, at least options. Are you playing one? Or are you playing one pro? No, no, just one. Oh, okay. So it's not the... the no, red. that'd be okay. that'd be risky. Yeah, that would be risky. I'm like, <laughs> it, why did you jump the, over? In the pro, stay on the biggest island there is. Yeah. Um, but you, hop, I find hopping over to this island when there's multiple options. Not two, but at least three yeah. that you can get to. I think you're right, because you, you can end up... And then always face the, the direction that you have to jump to. Unless you're, you're, you're hanging, you want to climb down to hang on. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, I had to go there anyway. Oh, I should get back to the uh, center. Oof. And now it's the center island again. Mm -hmm. And then it'll slowly build up the side island. Music's great. <laughs> it's got one piece on the side. Ooh, there's a bunch there at once. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh boy. Not quite enough to jump to the side yet. jump down there no you could go to the other side but uh, yeah I could have uh, nope. oh 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 no. oh I'm in trouble rough. I'm in big now you trouble can, now you can go across but uh, uh, I think you need to go across now oh no oh <gasps> oh oops. no wrong way <laughs> <laughs> into the lava 178 was very good though ah uh, it's okay uh, New high score. So let's uh, oh, try check another... out the two player. I'll just die here. There we go. Hopefully this. Unplug the Atari box. I'm glad the Atari box doesn't make a, a terrible sound when you unplug it. <laughs> like, ah! Uh, don't hurt me. Okay, so I'm blue. I'm red. Okay. Go for it. So this is the normal, um, normal play. Uh, oh, I see. It's not, not the random. pro. It's not the pro version. It's the yeah, the patterned one. But you can't cross paths in the two-player. No. So it does prevent you from a lot of things. It can you can get in the way of the other person now. So you can play cooperatively or you can play competitively and kind of block the other person from uh, going to where they want. No! That was that Hence was not near. fair. That was not fair. <laughs> not fair. I didn't even touch you. <laughs> well, I just got cornered, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> and it says SEC. Seconds? Yeah. I guess they are pretty much a second each. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that was bad. Zero to two. Uh. And it's nice they put the big tower in the middle to begin with, because mm. then you both have your own sides to begin with. Mm -hmm. Don't interfere right away. <laughs> can go shake hands. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. I block. I block. <laughs> nope. Can't come up here. It's my block. This is my block now. 
now you're in trouble. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to go down. You have to turn away and and, and yeah, and, hang and then off. climb backwards. Funny. So see what I did was That's interesting. Was me. Oh no, no, no! I see you weren't locking me. I was gonna. I was trying to jump across. You have to do that eventually, anyway. Yeah, that's true. Port of a PC game with the same name. Yes. It is a super fun game. And great with two players, because you're kind of playing together, but also independently. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump. <laughs> I meant to turn around. And the animations of the little guys are incredible. There's so many frames of animation. And the uh, movement as well. The the different styles of jumping from place to place is oh, no. awesome. Oh, boy. Which... Oh, I, was, <laughs> I was watching you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, oh, I can hang. I think I'm okay if I hang. That's true. Yeah. Like if, if there's something going the across, yeah. you, can, you can still survive it if you hang down. If you hang down. Ah! <laughs> Love it when it's like, I'm targeting you. Yeah. Like laser beam coming down. Oh, laser beams above me. Ah! <laughs> three, three! Ah. Last one! Okay. Is it best to four? I'm not sure. I <laughs> can't remember. Or does it just keep going? It may just keep going. I don't remember. Denoid? You could. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's to five at least. To four, five? To four is a weird number. No. Usually it's well. to, um, to an odd number. Best of five, best of seven, best of three, or ten, I guess. Mm. Oh, God. No! Oh. <laughs> oh! There we go. Best of five. Best of oh, five. Oh, we'll do one okay, more Okay, one then. more then. Or two more. Or yeah, three. one or two. Or three, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well go to complete a full, full set. And interestingly enough, there's no button in this game. You don't use the button at all. And usually when there's games you play, it's usually you either play it completely with the button or moving and button, but it's very rare that a game doesn't use the button at all. You can't... Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yay. I should have, again, turn around and hang down. Yeah. That's all. It's... it's uh, Oh, very good. That was very good. Yep. I like that. That's really fun. It's, it's amazing so that 2600 clear. pulled this level of animation. Well, actually, 2600 is really good for animation because all you do is load in, you point the um, you point the pointer to where the new graphics are. That's it, and mm -hmm. it can update it, and it draws 60 times a sec, 60 times a second, so you can get 60 frames of animation. And it's all about just having ROM, mm. as much ROM as you need. Um, so you can get s smooth 60 frames of animation. Mm. Um, so, actually, the 2600 is very good for it. Um, it's all about how much room you have left. So, and um, Dinoid gave a small update on uh, Fool's Gold, his next game, nice. which I'm eagerly anticipating. Yeah. Because that one is going to be really, really fun. Mm. Um, it's a load runner port. Okay. Which opens up the possibilities for just hundreds of levels, mm. depending on how much uh, ROM he's going to put in. Mm. Um, I said, short update on Fool's Gold, my load runner port. Uh, the guard AI is now working, and the game is actually playable, but far from complete. I'd say it's about 40% done now. I'm focusing on stabilizing the rules of the game, after which my plan is to ask Atari Age community to help with designing new levels. Awesome, mm. Dianoid. 
That's great. So we're going to have some community made levels for, nice. for that. Nice, nice, And it's like full screen levels with ladders and little things you climb across mm. and, and it's primarily made of bricks. Mm. So it's a bunch of bricks and there's a bunch of enemies chasing you and you have to collect gold. And then when you get enough gold, you climb out of the level off oh, the top of the okay, screen. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Really, really, really good game. Nice. So it's uh, a single screen platformer type game. Yeah. Um, as soon as there's something to show, you'll be the first to know. So <laughs> that'll be awesome. So yeah. look for it on an upcoming episode yes. of Zero Page. Um, we're going to move on to the next game. Thank you so much, Dianoid, for uh, letting us show off this version of Tower of Rubble. And this should be available next month if everything goes well, hmm. along with a ton of other new 2600 games and other platform games. Uh, games on other platforms. Um, I don't have a list handy, but I, I, I did compile a list of which games that I think are coming out. Okay. Um, I'll have to look that up and maybe. Like, like future games, like things that. Like that... coming out in July. Oh, on, I see. But you don't know cartridge. for sure yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some have been confirmed for 100%. Okay. Some are like. Probably, probably and yeah. some are like maybe yeah yeah oh we're, um, it's our pleasure do you know to play yes it's such a fun game it's so so good. yeah so uh let's go to the next game mm -hmm. excuse me i'm gonna sneeze ah. mm. nope didn't that's the worst uh b blocks fluff, fluff up the nose and this <laughs> is a brand new game um i'm gonna plug the tari box in because i like the sound that it makes. Okay. And I don't think there's any more two-player games. Mm. Mm. Oh, and yeah, we um, fixed this. <laughs> uh, well, well, it uh, was falling apart. A bolt came out in the middle of play last time, but uh, yeah. it just wasn't uh, really secured. So. No, things weren't uh, completely tight. Very enough. cool. If you haven't seen it before, the monster joystick. Translucent. Translucent. You can buy them off their website. They come in different colors and designs. and Pick color buttons um, and, and stuff. And it, it's a pretty satisfying joystick, you know? It's not bad. But there's certain games you you, you seem to enjoy using this, well, I this like, joystick. Well, I like that style of joystick, arcade yes. style, and that's why I got it. Yeah. Um, the only thing wrong with this is that it's a bit crunchy the the joystick do you think it'll it'll loosen a bit as we play it more or it's if you push too far it kind of shifts like like press press hard on it like oh, that I see. you see it's got this extra click like something is all shifting down like you're moving yeah, the whole mechanism I see what you're saying but other I mean, than that is fine if you're not really pressing hard. pressing hard then it's 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 very nice like, yeah it's very fine. totally fine yeah, so this I like it. is it b blocks cool by Jeremiah K and Just Jeff. It was first posted November 15th, 2019. Mm. This build is from today, an hour ago. <laughs> an hour and a bit ago because... Uh, really, really, they, really new. They did an update <laughs> after they found out that we were going to be playing it on the show today. Oh, nice. And this is a really good update because mm. it adds score to it. And uh, before that, there was no score. No so score. Go for okay. it. Um, it's a 2K game. Um, other games by Jeremiah K is B-Blocks, Nyan Cat, and Ramless Pong. Nyan Cat. Um, other games by Jeff. Just Jeff is B Block, so this is his first game, awesome. and he is in the chat with us. Nice. Uh, Tower Rubble is an 8K ROM, no extra ROM, only bank switching. Try a Competition Pro that's built like a tank. Competition Pro. Yeah, is that a um, arcade style joystick? Oh, I'm so hot. You have to open it the is window. warm in here. It's quite humid. It's not. It's not like yeah. a hot day, but there's a lot of humidity. Yeah, because it's raining. It's been raining a lot. It's and... like 19 degrees. I don't know. Oh, I was scared for a second. You no, hadn't. I turned it off. Okay, good. Turned off the <laughs> alarm system. Yeah. It's a very uh, bad noise when it's on. Oh, I don't yeah. think you've ever experienced it on the show. No, terrifies Thankfully. the cats. Terrifies. Them. Terrifies us. Yeah. And then the alarm system company phones us. Yeah. Oh, that's cooler. Um, but the cats will come now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an exclusive new work in progress version for the stream today nice. Thank um, you. you can download uh the version before this on the atari age forums i'm sure they'll make this available um in the forums soon um uh but the handle is like in the arcade it's the atari joystick style oh, oh that's the joystick the other oh one. i see competition pro yeah. yeah yeah i really like it's where it's laid out flat yeah, not everyone's a little to, different. Not but, where you have yeah. to hold it, but it's just my preference. I 
you really like the Sega Genesis controllers, but there's something about the width of them I'm, I'm I find. I'm liking this better now. I am too. I the width of it I find uncomfortable, like sitting yeah. in my lap, and I think it's because I cross my legs. Yes. But but you know even this I I have it on well, a, pillow, a pillow. But I find something about that not as ideal. I it's like the this form one factor. better. The form yeah. factor, yeah. Yeah. So we made this one the primary one now. Yeah. Well, we have um. So they posted November fifteenth, uh, two thousand nineteen. Good morning. I found a game called Amado. Oh, actually, we'll take a look at that first. That I think can be done in a reasonable amount of time. Originally thinking that the map on the right could not be displayed in the same way, uh, same horizon as the play field. I'll give it a shot anyway. I think it might work. So actually, we're going to go look at that first. Okay. Um, where this came from, because this is a port. Mm. Port, port, port. Genesis arcade sticks are pretty nice. They are. I do like them. Um, so load up the game that this was inspired by um i don't know if i'm ready to call it a port but we'll see we'll see if it is a port it's hard to tell like distinguish between like what's a port and what is um not a port okay oh not getting the right screen pick the right screen Trouble. there we go we're good now okay so this is amado apparently it's a pc game from 1990 the title suggests thanks to blank <laughs> registration somebody didn't register it <laughs> so okay it's got a oh this is very different i think turn that down a bit um, because the game they made was a matching game. Um, oh my god. Oh, you're matching it to the right, I see. Uh, this is the original. Okay. You're matching it to the right. The game they made is B, with B-blocks is that you're, it's a three-plus matching block game. It's nothing to do with this. Three-plus matching? I don't know what you're that means. You're just blo matching block colors. And when you match block colors, they disappear. Like a million oh, other games. Oh, I yeah. see, I see, I see. Yeah. This gotcha. this is rearranging. Oh, what are they doing here? You lose you lose every time you change a color. Is that? They're trying to match what's on the side there. They are. Are they yeah. flipping? No. They're changing colors. They're somehow changing colors over. Well, there's Can't... colors at the top. Is there? Yeah, but they've got the wrong number of colors, and they're somehow changing colors. And then there's a countdown timer there. Anyway, this is very different than, yeah. than what B Blocks is. Yeah. Um, so it was obviously just inspired. It's not a port at all. Yeah. But anyway, it's interesting to see where inspiration yeah. comes from for these games. Hi, Hi Atari. You've come back. Okay, so let's go back to actual B Blocks. But that was interesting to see. He likes to announce his presence. Meow. Did you hear him meow? Meow. He's so funny. He is a very cute Yeah, guy. he's a good kitty. Okay, there we go. B blocks. Okay. What am I doing? Ah. Uh, okay. I get it. Oh, the purples and blues are better than when I looked at this last, but the oranges and reds are not great on this display. I don't know if you're having as much trouble with the oranges and reds. Is there two, two shades of green, too? Oh, yes, there are. Yeah, he did mm. say that there was... He needs to work on the colors on the new version, so you'll have to just kind of muddle your way through. Uh, it's not too bad. No, it's not um, too so bad. he said, uh, good morning. Uh, this is from November 15th. I found a game called Amato that I think could be done in a reasonable amount of time. Um, and then the update was... Well, on December 8th, 2019. Well, I spent the past few weeks working on it here and there. I did okay. Actually, it looks better over there. Oh, it does. That's interesting. Our, our display really doesn't show a lot of distinction between the orange and red. But what you guys are seeing is a little bit better. A little bit better, but the greens, there are actually two, two shades, shades of green, what and you're they're seeing very is, close. is about what we're seeing. Ours is a little darker on the greens. Yeah. Yeah. Stream needs adjustment. 
Greens and yellows are new, too close. Nope. What we're seeing is actually worse than what you're seeing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Do you want me to change it so you can see what we're seeing, which is much worse? <laughs> I will. And I actually should. So that you guys can see. Let me change the. Oh, that's not it. Oh, don't cut out. It's going to cut out for a second. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, oops. Oh, there we go. We're back. Uh, go to the color correction. It's the hue shift. Maybe it's a saturation, maybe? No, I can't get it right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the screen the screen resembles Amato, but this this game is bejeweled. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, so he said, "Well, I spent the past few weeks working on it here and there, and did okay care of taking the above issues with the elaborate scheme, using the ball, missile, play field changes, and more. It was pretty functional, but with limitations. Then when I started on a routine to populate the play field with different colors." Uh, for RAM, I stumbled upon an illegal opcode that made it all work properly. <laughs> made work completely obs made all that work completely obsolete. Used no kernel time, none of the objects, and allowed 100% of all possible configurations 100% of the time. Now, I'm going to show you how they accomplished this. It's quite interesting. Um, afterwards, in Stella. Um, and then, uh, just Jeff posted Wednesday. Hello, Jeremiah K. and I have been working hard on the Atari 2600 version of Bejeweled and it's coming along nicely. The attached version is partially playable, no scoring or game over yet. Um, if you're not familiar with this game, it's pretty straightforward. Switch two blocks to make runs of three or more blocks of the same color. When you do, the blocks disappear and new ones fall from the top. Uh, tip on this version, to switch blocks, press uh, select one by pressing and holding the fire button on the first block, then point the joystick to the other tile you wish to switch with. I mean, you've got that inherently, you've played this type of game I, a million yeah, times. Most people have. <laughs> um, the June 19th update, there's been much progress. We even had a conference call to discuss project status and strategy. And they made this really interesting grid up um, of along one of the axis was how hard is it to implement? Mm. And along the other axis they put um, how important is it to the game? <laughs> and they they came up with ideas for the game or things that need to complete it and they put it in all these boxes mm. and that's a really good way of seeing what needs to be done next mm. because if it's really important to the game and really easy to implement you go for that first obviously and then you work your way down probably doing all the easy stuff or the most important stuff mm. to the game um, he doesn't explain what that bar along the bottom is. Have you kind of figured what that is? Uh, is that how much? It's probably, usually it's how much you have to clear to move to the next level, I'm guessing. Okay. Where it just resets the whole board? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you do... You can get stuck, I guess. Yeah, you can get stuck where you have no, no options, right? So... Oh, Jeremiah K is in the chat as well. Welcome. So both the developers are here. Yeah. He said, I calibrated the colors based off my CRT TV. We'll have to adjust. Um, yeah, because everybody's TV is going to be different. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody's colors are going to be different. So you... Oh. There you go. See, ah, it, 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 nice. It, it, now you restart. Yeah. So that you need a wider, like, have the colors as distinct as possible. Yeah. Like, you don't have any yellows at all. Well... Yeah. Um, like there's a, a cu couple colors missing. Like what color? Yellow. A really bright yellow is missing that you could probably use. Um, is white's missing? You could use well, white. There's all kinds of shades you could you could use. Yeah. I mean, it depends on how you want the overall color to be. I like the color scheme. Yep, the greens it's... are just too close. Like I can I can distinguish the purple and blue. They're close. Yeah. But the kind of 
brighter green versus the more khaki green um they don't show up on our screen at all so yeah one's it's, supposed it's, to be yellow and green i think well yeah like a, a dollar but, green but it, it actually is is a is, little bit hard to distinguish like, they're green and dark green yeah. what you guys are seeing is kind of off yellow green and green, and green. yeah they just need to be further apart yeah. I think. yeah the rest are pretty fine one. But it does make it challenging. It's a, it's a, it's a like um, color, color uh, test for your eyes. It is, <laughs> it is. Um, but obviously, the challenge of this game is not figuring out the colors, right? It's not going. Oh, is that red or? Because yeah. that other game was, it was um, dropping colors and matching them. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Greens are always risky due to the way the palette is generated using phase shifts for uh, just 26. So maybe that's... So avoid... So maybe just have one green and yeah. then something else, something else not yeah. green. The other ones the other ones, I, I don't find hard to distinguish. So Yeah, what you uh, guys are saying, the, the red the and orange... The purple and are blue are, are further apart on, on the stream yeah. than they are on the screen we're looking at. Yeah. But they're still distinguishable. At least for, for me, they seem distinguishable. The purples and yeah, blue? yeah, they're fine. Yeah, they're not amazing, but they're fine. Uh, the greens and yellowy greens, no, they're bad on this. Yeah. Um. And the red and oranges are okay on this. Yeah. 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 So updates today. This one that he passed over. Yeah. We added a functional score, which is great. Levels, which is great, and improved the colors. Um, you can push game reset to reset the game. Uh, these are all added in a rush these past few hours. <laughs> Thank you very much for yeah, doing that. Yeah, it's very, very cool. It's excellent. But the game should be very playable. I think it's like... <laughs> I'm oh, like on no. the verge of sneezing all the time. <laughs> Sorry. It's like in a completely playable form now. Oh, like it's got, yeah. No, it's a it's the got jewel score. game. It's awesome. It's because you've got cat hair on your nose. That's why. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Blame the cat. It's tickling your nose probably. <laughs> probably. Um... <laughs> yeah, adding a white would be like an easy one to solve it if you want that in your Well, I like look. the color palette though. So I yeah. think it's a muted color palette, which is nice. It is, yeah. Yeah. Brightness could be adjusted too, just alternated. Yeah. yeah. One is green, one is yellow. Yeah. Mr. Fix says this is awesome. I could play it for hours. Me too. <laughs> it's it's just one of those games it it keeps you engaged cuz you're looking and you're trying to match and trying to figure well, out Well, and things. they're always it's always a satisfying game to play. Too, and I it's thought. randomized. Because some games are like, oh, it's the same thing over and over again. This is the same wave, the same pattern. So these types of games have a have that advantage where it's like, no, it's it's randomized, completely randomized, like a like a card game where you shuffle the deck. Mm. But there's oh 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 some matches. Oh my goodness, yeah. ton of matches. They did in jump a, row. a bit. I don't know if that's a line count thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and they just fix them. The line counts on this version gotcha. they had 266 now this is 262 mm. lines which is kind of the standard line count um so there was i think that was a match on the bottom row where it jumped mm, yeah you might have been like right. a horizontal match maybe yeah so you can't reproduce that but <laughs> not yet not yet least. but it's something you can rewind the uh video and you can have see that yeah. yeah uh just jeff and jeremiah k who I couldn't figure out your real names. <laughs> Some people, no, nope, they, they stay right. secret, which is totally fine. Totally yeah. fine. Um, so they're actually looking for a name for this game oh. right now. Um, they've had two suggestions in the forums. One was Be Squared, mm -hmm. which is good, which is very good. I like that. Because it's a playoff Bejeweled, so people know, know kind of what they're getting into. Yeah, I like that. And the other one's a really good suggestion, too. It's called Block Party. Yeah, I like that too. It's great. <laughs> That's a really great name too. Yeah. Um, oh, and a suggestion I just thought of: when you finish a level, you could have all the, all the. Um, what does it do? What did it do? Did it fall? It out? did. It did. It like it. it Completely collapsed. I think so. Yeah. That's pretty it nice. Can, I'm almost at the end. If I oh, don't yeah. die. So we'll um, see it again. We'll see but it I again. was thinking, oh, make them all change colors, like, like a bunch of flashing colors, which would be nice. They could do that they and drop. fall. I mean, Bejeweled, I think that's usually what happens, is they fall. So. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see in a second. I'm fairly close. I'm almost there. Probably goes there. right to the end of the last. The presentation is incredible. Oh, yeah, it looks great. 
Um, the grid is great. Font at the top is pretty nice. Um, you can tell how far along you are. Everything is 100% functional at this point that I can tell. Yep. And, oh, one more. Let's see what happens. Oh, maybe not one more. Oh, oh. so oh, close. So close. <laughs> He did say that it doesn't stop. Oh no! <laughs> when you're stuck. Uh, oh no! Oh no! So, so close. close. Yeah. To the end. Oh, vertical. That green. Are no. they all green? No. Oh no! That one's too bright. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> I won't be able to see you when. No, that's. Oh, there. I knew there was one. Still going, eh? <laughs> It's not... Definitely oh, the progress bar is done. So maybe this is the end. It did oh. it twice. Oh, oh there, there you go. we go. So yeah, it, it, does, it flashes it, and goes no, down. No, it disappeared and, it fell, and down. fell down. So it clears the board. Yeah, it's and nice. It falls side. down. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jeremiah said, white in the purples. Will this save high scores to Atari Vox? Um, probably not at this point, but that is a very good um, suggestion. Mm. And there's no reason not to add that kind of thing into an Atari Vox. Yeah. Like if you have scores in the game... Put in the code for the Atari box. Um, make sure you don't overwrite somebody else's uh, mm. section, though. <laughs> go look at go look at the uh, the list of Atari box um, high score um, availabilities. Just Jeff says ten. He's doing very well. <laughs> so this is your type of game. I I yes I have played Bejeweled before. Yeah, I don't know if I can come up with better names than B squared and I like Block both Party. Of those are pretty nice. They're both <laughs> amazing suggestions. Uh, seventh column purple. Oh, yeah, we got there. We got there. Behind. It took okay. us a while. <laughs> yep. It's the it's the um, similar shades. Sometimes make that it makes it hard to uh, to see. But again, it adds a, another level of um, challenge to yeah. it. To be honest. So it says this is still a very much a work in progress uh, project, and the good. game will not know if you have no, if you have lost. No possible moves left. Oh, I see. So there's no, there's no, um, there's no checking. No. Which is quite an onerous task for the 2600. Oh, to check, yeah. Because it pretty much has to do all the moves in the game. Is there a fast way of checking that? Interesting. Oh, I guess there would be a fast way. You could look for two. Um, it's like, it's like the first one's red. If the second one is red beside it, then look for one to the left and to the right of that. And you can just check. And also Are middle two? ones, too. Are there two matchings? Vertical or horizontal? Yeah, but there has to be two and one in the middle as well. Right? Oh. So it has to look for both. Damn. And fours and fives. Well, those just follow. It doesn't matter. Yeah. As long as you true. have three. That's true. Yeah. So it would have to do both. It would have to do two beside each other and two apart with a one in the middle. So that would be the two. Interesting, and, yeah. And then it would have to do all the possibilities to fill in that one. Is there one on the remaining four directions, I guess? Or th or two directions if it's one apart. Yeah. Um, and... Jeremiah K is uh, working on that. Check each square for one on each side, two on opposite. Mm. Yeah. Mr. Fix, give the player a specific amount of moves and a score they must reach in those moves, yes. perhaps. Yeah, I mean... Um, specific amount of moves in the score. Yeah. Well, that's a variation of the game, I yeah. guess. I think a lot of Bejewel games are like this, where you have to progress, yeah. and then if you end up with a board that you cannot progress on, then that's the end of the game, and, yeah. and you... Um, the other thing with a lot of Bejewel games is if you get four or five in a row or you make combinations, yeah. sometimes that has an impact on the board. So if you okay. get five in a row, whatever color it was, it deletes all the colors and everything oh. falls down. And yes. I don't know how easy or Do hard that. that is in Atari. Um, um but that's, that's, but that that's be, common. That's I would think that'd be very, thing. fairly simple. Yeah. You just blank out those. Yeah. It already knows to fill in. It looks like it has the logic. 
to fill in blank spaces. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. Because it clears the board and they all fall down. Yeah, time modes are planned. Check your sh Yeah, 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 time modes. I would uh, do a five. Time modes are good too. Five. How much you can do in a certain time. Yes. How many, how many... Um, that would be good. Instead yeah. of the bar going up, you have yeah. the bar going down. And then we're each a zero then yeah. that's your score and a lot of like uh, again bejewel games you get four in a row it might eliminate one color you get five in a row it might turn a bunch of them to one color and then you get more combos yes. but again i don't know how easy or hard that is with with the atari system but I and it's not it's not easy. absolutely needed because it's, be it's, it's a very easy simple game to play without that too so. yeah um but that's yeah a lot of so let me show yeah. you how so i had a version of bejeweled yeah on that w Windows Media Center PC that I made up when we first met. Yeah. So, um, and I used to play it a lot on that on that PC. Um. Windows Media Center. Don't hear much about that anymore. No, uh, things have taken over that. Oh yeah, for sure. So I'm gonna show. I'm gonna switch this over. Show you how they made this, which is it's very clever. Sure. Um, because it's fairly difficult to get that many colors um, so close together. Mm, yeah. um, oops. My mouse moves the cursor, but that's okay. Uh, so let's go to this. Is that going to work? Uh, yeah. That's going to work just fine. So let's do screen capture. So this is through Stella. Um, so let's take a look at how they did this. Oh, looks, wow. Looks crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Colorful. Yeah. So you would think that they would use the play field, and, but it's that, those little lines are smaller than four pixels, I think. Mm. Um, actually, it might be 848484, eight, eight, I believe, is the... Um, pixel amounts mm. and so if we take a look at debugger window too large okay um <laughs> let's see if i can just one second there we go um switch back to that so we can take a look and they use the missile, mm. then you use the play field, then the other missile, then the play field, then player zero, player oh, one, player I zero, see. player one, then play field. Nice. And I think that is, that play field is just to change to black and black out the rest of it, I believe. Mm. Um, so that is the first column's color, and then the second column's color, third column, fourth column. Gotcha. And so they have enough time to switch colors. Mm. So they can set up um, that color, that color, and that color um, beforehand in this spot because gotcha. you have to tell what colors and program it on the fly. So you, in between that last part and that part, they can set up that one, that one, and that one. And while those are displaying, after that one is drawn, they have enough time to switch the colors for that one. Mm. That one's already set up. That one's already set up as well beforehand and then it just that's the first there's time a delay drawn. for drawing each column I yeah. yeah and after that one's drawn you change the color here yeah. for that so it has the second color there and then once that's drawn you change this i think you can see my mouse yeah you can good uh once that one's drawn you change the color there for that one neat and that's it yeah what they're doing is just changing colors yeah. throughout it i mean you have to have all these ready yeah in in memory beforehand um, but, uh, yeah, it's really, really, uh, kind of clean. Oh, the missiles and the player have the same color. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, that is true. Yeah, you can see down here, player zero, missile zero. So, uh, the orange and the dark red have the same color. Um, so. What yeah. do you mean by that? Have the they same share color. the same color. So if you change the color on one, it changes the color on the other automatically. Okay. I mean, they share the same memory location for color. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's not it's not as simple as I I should have stated a different way. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But e either way, it's a very smart way mm -hmm. of of setting it up. 
um, rather than some complicated play field thing. Yeah. Um, even though they do use play field as well. Very, very clever. Very smart. Good on them for, for figuring that out. Ah. Um, so there you go. Back in the game. Mm -hmm. Midline color changes. There's the perfect wording. <laughs> Do you want to play for a little bit? I'm going to nope. make myself a cup. Oh, um... You haven't played at all. Sure, but you we've pretty much game. done it. <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll, you want to I'll move on to the next okay, game. Okay, move on to the next game. And I'll start the um, explanation for it. Um, so, really great. I'm looking forward to more advancements with this. Okay. Um, I mean, there are going to be variations, I guess. One where it's a timed one, and there's lots of possibilities now that they've got this, got this done. So if anybody wants to uh, suggest more names for it, you can head over to the Atari mm -hmm. Age forums and suggest some names. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard to beat B-squared and Block Party. Those are pretty damn good names. So uh, the next game we're going to be playing is Jungle Adventure. So I would head out now. Okay. Go. Do your thing. <laughs> Get Go your now. Copy. Uh, Jungle Adventure is from 2013. It's a work in progress, and sadly, I don't think it's going to be worked on anymore, even though it is a work in progress, by Steve Engelhart, Atarius Maximus, and I'll get to why it won't be worked on any further. Um, first post, it was March 27th, 2013. Let me get my chat back here. She's getting her coffee. She didn't... Uh, the phase shift of zero page homebrew console seems to be too large. It should be adjusted. Oh, yeah, I guess I could open it up, but it's, uh, it's Al's Atari. I don't know if I want to open it up. Um, well, thank you, Just Jeff and Jeremiah, for um, sending over the brand new version of the game to, for us to play in the show. Um, the yellow colors were a lot more distinct in emulation, I noticed. Yellow colors look yellow instead of green. Yeah, exactly. Um, without the debug colors on. Uh, so this is a 32K DPC Plus game. Other games made by Atari's Maximus are Asteroid Escape, Bombs Away, Cave In, Cave Run, Diamond Drop, Drag Race 2600, Gate Racer, Gate Racer 2, Grand Theft Atari Demo, Inferno, Jumper, Jungle Adventure, OS 2600, Primate Plunge, Road Blaster, Touchdown Challenge, Turbo, and a massive amount of hacks. And I do recognize a bunch of those names. So we have played some of his games before. Atari's Maximus. And I mean, we played uh, Jumper last episode. Um, so he posted originally uh, March 27, 2013. I've been playing around with the DPC Plus kernel for weeks now and would like to use it for my next project. I usually start my projects with a basic game engine and then see if I can come up with a good game concept around it. And I think that might be how a bunch of games start get developed. Do you think of like kind of a, a good trick or a good way to represent something on the Atari. And then you think of a game that would be really, really suitable for that. Because of the way the 2600 works, it's not just like display things on the screen. And you have video memory. You have to do it line by line. You have to do tricks, just like we just saw in the uh, B-Blocks game. They figured out a way how to display... Um, how many across was it? Was it eight? Uh, yeah, I think it was eight across. Um, and then they made a game. Uh, they probably did it differently, but a lot of the games come out, come up like that. Um, I keep using uh, Zookeeper as as an example, where John Shampo came up with how to draw bricks, and he's like, "Well, what games use a brick? Zookeeper. Well, that's a perfect application for um, being able to draw bricks." And he came up with the brick drawing ability when he was doing the title screen for Mappy because it had these lines that appeared automatically when he was trying to draw the title screen for Mappy. And it looked kind of like a brick, and that's how it came about. Um, uh, I have a hard drive full of abandoned projects just like this one that didn't work out. This demo works perfectly in Stella, but loads with a blank black screen on a Harmony cart on real hardware. Not anymore, but the original version. I was hoping somebody more knowledgeable than me might be able to figure out why, so I guess they did. The game is a platformer, and there are 15 screens that you can free freely roam left to right. My idea was to have random treasures, enemies, and ladders on each screen, and all the rooms would connect in a large maze-like world. I don't have any ideas past this. Uh, this is just a proof of concept at this point, and the sprites are just placeholders. The ladders probably won't work correctly on any of the screens beyond the initial screen. 
I haven't got that far yet. I really only, I've really only worked on the first screen. I like help figuring out why it doesn't seem to work on the harmony. It does work. Hey, the games are welcome. Uh, just increase the shift. Everything green will become yellow. Okay. Uh, the custom palette you can uh, emulate it. With custom palette, you can emulate James's console palette. Oh, okay. So, Trust is helping Jeremiah and Just Jeff make it look like what we saw so that then they can work on their colors with a palette that is like ours so that they're more, more distinct. Oh, I see. So work with kind of an off, off Atari. An because, off Atari, yeah. Because the new Stella has implemented custom color palettes. Oh, I see. Okay. So you can kind of emulate, you know, off off adjusted Atari so you can make your colors look better or at least on the Atari on, itself yeah it on, the Atari, on itself. the Atari that makes sense yeah 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 cool because everybody's got kind of a different looking output from well their Atari. yeah that's true because there's a dial inside the Atari oh really that you can change the colors really yeah that's neat like you have to crack it open and, and turn the dial yep with a hammer <laughs> um no yeah you turn the dial and you and I did that with mine when I was playing around with it um, oh, so that it does so it, match up kind of close to what you should expect what you're what you want to see yeah so it's kind of color calibration oh, oh she found it i hid it away because she put it in the dishwasher hey so that has to fine. be has to be cleaned on its, its own fine. that's our cups that's our cups found we it got the kitty found it uh yeah. tea public tea yes um that seems handy to make your colors mm -hmm. work on a variety of consoles yes um Okay, so let's get the game going. Now that you're back, so I can talk and <laughs> we can look at things at the same time. Yeah, sorry. That's why there's two players. Coffee is. is, is I, I, reached, I reached the point where the caffeine Ready. saturation had dropped, so. <laughs> gotta keep your levels yeah, up. Gotta keep the levels up. Thank you very much. So, load it up, please. Plus, I got to uh, show off the mug. So, That's what are we true. doing? Jungle, Jungle adventure. adventure next. Okay. Nice. Is it start? Am I gonna die? Yep, you're gonna die. <laughs> I've been working on this past. This is an update from August 28, oh. 2013. I've been working on this the last few weeks and wanted to share what I've done so far. It's now a playable game. You run around the jungle searching for treasure. Once you find a one, another is randomly placed somewhere else. Avoid the scorpions, rolling logs, arrows, alligators, and pits. You get three lives and will restart at the first screen if you lose a life. I think you um, you don't actually lose lives in this version. Oh. Anyway. Oh, you can. Oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> um, there's no sound yet, and it still needs quite a bit of polish, but it's playable and kind of fun. <laughs> I'll be working on it more in the coming week. Uh, forgot to mention that there are three di uh, difficulty levels and speeds. Right now, the speed will ramp up twice after getting five and 15 <sighs> treasures. My timing is terrible. Um, so he posted on January 3rd, 2014. It's the start of a new year, <laughs> and I'm feeling the urge to start another project. I had lots of free time this week since it was slow at work, and I took the time to update my website, bajars.com, which took way longer than I thought. My first site overhaul since 2006 and about 15 hours of work. I did take the time to... Blah, blah, blah. This is all about other games. I lost my most recent updates to the Jungle Adventure demo due to a PC crash a few months ago, which kind of took the steam out of this project. And while it looks cool, after playing the most recent version I posted, nice. I'm thinking of starting over. It looks nice to me, but just kind of boring to play. I'm, tr I'm trying now to get inspired to start on something new and try to use the Atari box I got late last year. I've got tons of reserve space for future games. I've only used three bytes of my assigned space for Gate Racer 2. Happy New Year and back to the Cotton Bowl. Go Mizzou. Whatever that means. <laughs> Sports related things. Yeah. Um, so he did uh, lose his code for this. His and he code. said he might, you know, the code that you compile. So all there is is oh. this. Oh. The ROM. And you can't... Oh, I, see. I mean, you could decompile it um disassemble it but uh that is not easy how did you get down there there oh okay hmm. 
Have you found a treasure yet? Oh, you got okay. one point. Or no, you don't. Not yet. So there's 15 screens across. They don't go down or up. Neat. Yeah, Pitfall with more levels. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously Pitfall inspired. He did say these uh, graphics are placeholders, so he used the Pitfall graphics. Uh, uh, huh, I didn't know about this one. I don't recall any homebrew themed after Pitfall. Yeah, I ran across this on a Facebook page. And I was like, oh my god, I've never seen this before. That's neat. And so I searched for it and found it in the forums and uh, downloaded it. Uh, <sighs> after seeing that arrow, I think the tint needs to be adjusted too. Is that what it is, an arrow? See, I've got the output from the Atari. And then I've got a filter on it. See... If I take the filter off, it still doesn't look like what I've got outputted from the Atari. A little closer. Maybe I should just leave the tint off. Uh, let's just see. Because there's lots of colors on this one. This might be a good example. So let's just do this. And then it just needs to be a little bit darker. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. That's actually really good. Yeah, the greens, oh, I think they're still a little bright. <laughs> this is very cool. Yeah, lots I, of variety. I'm not, I'm not paying, oh, that must be, oh, okay. That must be. That's pretty good. Gold? Yep. Yeah, woo, I got something. There you go. No, that makes more sense. So this is closer to what we're seeing. Green's a little bright still. So hard. Take down the saturation a bit. Maybe you want it bright. Oh. What are you doing down there? That's dangerous. Oh no, no, <laughs> no? they're all about the same. I wouldn't say one, one particular section is more dangerous than another, so. I would. Right. Oh, see, there's gold. I oh. don't know why I missed that before. No, it's random. Is it? Yeah. So yeah, if so I go down. go down, you'll get it right away. Nice. Got it a lot faster than I did. I have discovered that the top. Let me get back up. There mm. we go. Up here is the least dangerous. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. Of course, I die. I find those very hard to jump. The rolling logs? Yes, yeah. They're more, they're Which harder than the alligators. I think it's the height of them. Oh, wow. You have to be very careful with them. So the rolling logs, maybe, I, I try to avoid them as much as possible. You can get over them, but. Because um... there's very, very few dangers up mm. here. There we go. Got the second one. Oh, I wasn't even looking for one. them when I first started playing, so oh. now that makes more sense. So you can go down. Uh, if you go over to the right, you can go oh. down. On, the, on that, on that uh, rope. Right. And then you can get down. Ah, there we go. Just have to jump that over the scorpion. Very tall. Oh, yeah, he's not, not too bad, bad, actually. It's just the, um, the rolling ones I haven't been too fond of. Let's get back up. This game's not bad. It's 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 fun. It's not fun. Bad. It's the gameplay is pretty simple and yeah. Um, but it, I like the I the, the four level element. Like yes. that's not common. You don't see that too often. Where you actually have four levels. To, Very to, seldom. It's usually you're yeah. on just one level. Yeah, and the trees and the stumps are quite nice. Yeah, they, it, there's yeah. been a lot of thought put into the backgrounds of in each screen. Yep. With the trees and. Get up there. And there's lots of elements. I don't know. Is that an arrow? Because it's not. It looks a little. Like a flying fish? Uh, <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, no, it's it's pretty neat. So I was half paying attention when you were speaking because I yes. was playing. Um, you said this person came back to the game but had lost the code. Yeah. Um, that you get stuck on. Uh, you jump over it. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I got stuck in the middle of it. It came down while I was under it and I got stuck. Um, oh, holding it down gives you a longer jump. Holding it. Yes, yeah. Because you can go... Not, in, blip, 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 blip. not indefinite, though. No. 
It does. It does. Oh, yeah. that's way better holding it down. Yeah. Um. So this is a game probably won't be going no. back to because he because... said he was going to make it from scratch again okay. if he was going to make it, but he just didn't find that mm. there was enough variety in it. He he found it boring. Um. I wouldn't say it's boring, but it doesn't. It 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 is repetitive after a it, while. I think that's the problem. It's got all the right elements though. It's got multi levels, which is very unusual. Very very cool. Um, especially it, ones that you can traverse differently, and there's blockages. It I doesn't mean, look like there's a level up portion though. It's kind of the same thing. Made the screen too dark. Oh. Is it too dark? Yeah, it's a fine balance between trying to. Uh, yeah, that's get fair. the right color but that's the problem is the color changes yeah it like is a little dark to start with actually it is yeah maybe my tv's dark yeah this looks oh, like it's pitfall so and yeah it's neat of course i don't want that the black you don't want the black to blow out though it is a dark um like the version we're watched watching too is quite dark yeah so the color the color scheme is on the darker side yeah yeah even, it is very dark on even, the screen. Even the score, it fades out. Like the <laughs> score does. at the bottom fades out to the brown, and it's it's. Believe it's, me, this is a good representation of what we're seeing. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. A lot of dark colors. It's a lot neat of though. Dark browns. Uh, you know, there's a lot of nice elements there. Yeah, yeah. I there, think... there doesn't appear to be a leveling up. That's the thing. It's like it's just well, the he same says elements. After five, it just gets faster. But yeah. faster, it, like, there's no change in monsters no, or i think that's what he would need to do is yeah. change up the enemies yeah um, make them longer or wider or make them harder or to jump them. over yep. yeah or more of them change the background for for a level yeah change the like colors something simple of the level. Like, like there's a sunset or mm -hmm. yeah it says a lot of promise. I love it's really cool. the mechanic of the multiple levels that you can't it just... It needs an objective, yes. Yeah. Yes, other it's than just... It's kind of lacking an objective, other than just picking up gold. Yeah. And that's a fine objective to begin yeah. with. Well, if there was like a treasure somewhere that's hard to access, yeah. and then, you know, you get gold along the uh... way, and then the treasure ups, ups your level, so you move to what... a new level or something like that. Is... I don't know. Oh god. He follows you. So I have to lead him away. Um, oh, no. I want to see Back what, to the beginning. I want to go to the water down there. What happens in the water? Ah. Okay. Nothing. It's just it just has um I like that blocking thing. Yeah, that That's is That's a nice cool. mechanic. Oh, just nothing. Just alligators. Ah. It doesn't change anything. Um, and obviously it needs Oh, you can climb up that. That's funny. <laughs> you can climb right to the top. Oh, yeah. Neat. I think that's accidental. Is it? I don't know. That's kind of a neat element to it because it blocks your no. path, but you can go up and down, but you still can't get past it. I want to see if you can climb all the way up it. Don't. Yeah. You get, <laughs> you get stuck in the middle. That's yeah, kind of you do. Mean. But you can just press Yeah. pitfall plus keystone capers. Yes. yes. You know what? If Maybe if there was a slow enemy mm. that was always chasing you. Yeah. Like they could climb up the ladders, they could go all they over the place. They follow your path. Yeah, yeah. They it's like it's like that horror like a, movie I like haven't seen. It follows where it just continually follows your path. Yeah, that would be very cool. I don't know how easy that would be, but well, can right, they track you easily? In in a can you have something track your path? Oh, in a simple way. In a simple way. It's like oh, I know they're one level up from mm. me, so I need to go up. Mm. When I hit a ladder, I'll take the ladder, or I need to go down, or they're to the left of me, I move left. Yeah. So they could be very simple tracking. And they would be blocked. Or maybe they can get through. You'd have to watch out for that. Yeah, but see that? It's open, so something could pass through it. Maybe so they can pass through they it. They can pass through it, but you can't. Um, because that would be that would be really cool. Because in Keystone Capers, yeah. the enemy can take things up that you can't. Mm. Like, they have advantages. Mm. So if you made them slower, but they can pass through things you can't, and then, they don't get hurt by enemies... Yeah that kind of even set out you can end up also um, blocked in somewhere where they yes. catch you, you know, yes like it's, so you it, have to be careful you have to be careful and think about your path like if i was here and i go oh no and they're right behind me that's my fault for getting myself yeah. into that spot yeah so yeah neat but i i do think it's i like it i like it i like that the gameplay is pretty pretty playable and yep and, and i like the four the four levels that's great i mean it needs a uh oh 
ah, needs a death that's not instant. Like that's like this is a bit jarring. Oh, why? Maybe because I was jumping always yep. when I die. Yeah, and it, 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 resets. it kicks you forward. So it needs a, a delay. So Maybe. There, so there's a nice death. There's an animated death there. Yeah. And it shakes the screen. I don't know if that's on purpose. Probably not. Very. Uh, I and I put this in because of the really unique ideas he mm -hmm. has in this. And sometimes somebody comes up with a game where it has amazing unique ideas, but he. It's they can't, not completed. They can't quite make a full game out of it. Yeah. yeah. It's neat. Very yeah. neat. Very very neat. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's all there is to this, unfortunately. Yeah. So, but it's still but very I thought fun. I'd include it. Yeah. Is it is it a ROM that people can download? Yeah, you yeah. can download this version that's cool. of it. Um, yeah, somebody needs to make a game like this with multiple levels. I like that, yeah. Because there's been lots of games with multiple levels that you can easily climb up and down, but mm -hmm. this one you can't. Like, you can't get everywhere. Like, I can't get to that spot there. It's It's like... It's like Pitfall, but four levels of Pitfall instead yep. of just one level instead of Pitfall. Of one. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay, so we're going to go to the last two-ish games. Mm. So they're kind of they're kind of both. Ready. They both came on the same cartridge when it was released. Oh, I see. Yeah. And it's called Brick and Brick One Eighty. Yeah, it's a very good start, but I don't think he's going to complete it. So. Uh, maybe he'll come back to it now that uh, brick first. You've shown it, yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's easy today. Oh. So, the NTSC. So it's a breakout nice. game. Oh. 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 Weird. Oh. Is it? It's acting being weird. weird. Yes. Oh, I can't. I, mean, I can only move when when the ball is at the lower half of the screen. That's not what happened in the emulator. No. <laughs> no, that's very or weird. Or is it playing for me? No. There oh, we go. <laughs> I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> because that obviously makes sense. you do the moves that the computer's going to do because that's where the ball is. Yeah, that's so funny. Oh my goodness. It probably moves at the last second. Oh. Uh, um. <laughs> that is really funny. So, Brick, this is made by Andrew Jeffrey, Jeffries, uh, Repixelate. First posted September 11th, 2013. This build is, uh, I think, somewhere around 2015. I couldn't get the exact date. Um, so, when uh, I suppose it says, when Batari Basic DPC Plus came out, those who used the 1.0 did not want to learn the new coding commands. Plus, it was still buggy, so I had a very slow update. Batari Basic DPC Plus had a very slow uptake. Oh, okay. Um, other games he's made, uh, Brick, Brick 180, and Jump VCS, which, uh, both of these games, Jump VCS and Brick, came out on cartridge, um, in 2015, um, through Atari Age. Um, so his first post says, hi, my first game, so I thought I'd share it in my first post. I wanted to create an Arkanoid-style game for the 2600, yeah, it's more Arkanoid, because there's bonuses. Definitely and... Arkanoid, yeah, like... Um, that improves on Breakout. Key, key requirements were have many individually designed levels, unlike Breakout, which is just a solid wall. Brick should be displayed as individual blocks with horizontal divisions, not just solid rows, which he did. Um, have bonus objects falling down the screen that can be collected, which he does. Has an S there, I which made you miss <laughs> the ball. I know. You have to be so careful with that. Have an enemy that moves about the screen and fit onto a 4K for physical cartridge release. Uh, it's been a bit of a challenge squeezing it all into 4K within the available cycles. However, after a lot of optimization and many rewrites, it's done and just fits. Although the sound had to be comp compromised. It's been a bit of a learning experience. I've had, um, I've had thoroughly enjoyed working within the limitations of the hardware and the programming environment. Um, so he describes Brick as, uh, it is a version of the classic brick-breaking game genre of games for your Atari console, featuring multiple unique levels, bonuses, and enemies. So people in the forums were like, why did, why, why don't you use the paddles for this? And... It's not a paddle game? It's not a paddle oh. game. And he said it's because of the limitations of Atari Basic. 
Mm. And the way he wanted to make the game eliminates the possibility of using paddles. Um, because paddles on the 2600 require continuous polling of the paddles, which take up um, cycles of the CPU so that you don't have many cycles left over for doing other things. So he couldn't do everything he wanted. And and especially in Batari Basic, that gives you an extra life. Yes, there Which you I go. need. Yep. And the funny thing is, I haven't played this much, but I think extra lives are actually stored on the right-hand side of the screen. I think it's... Or is it split? I think it's split. Okay. So it's two on one side and two on the other? Or does it go to three? Yeah, Captain Classic, very Arkanoid-like. Yeah, it's got all the basic elements of Arkanoid. But I think the dr things that drop down are just slow. Like just an S for slow and a heart. I don't think there's anything else. Have you seen? Um, not yet. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, it is on both sides, so to answer okay. your question there. Finally. <laughs> Level two! Level two! <laughs> Aw, cute. Space Invader! I, I would say joystick is not the best <laughs> controller for this it's, type of it's game. It's a little, um, a little hard to, um... It's not smooth, it's very it's fast. It's not smooth, unfortunately, but that's okay. It moves way faster than the ball, which is nice, but the fastness comes with imprecision. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I feel a bit of delay sometimes, too. You want to try? Um, yeah, and you can read out sure. information from the Atari Age store. Okay. There you go. Okay. Brick is... you All of this, right? Yep. Okay. Brick is a version of the classic brick-breaking genre of games for your Atari console featuring multiple unique levels, bonuses, and enemies. The object of the game is to use the bat at the bottom of the screen to keep the ball in play as you knock out bricks to score points. Using the joystick controller, you can move the bat left or right. Pressing the far button launches the ball towards the bricks. Move the bat left or right to keep the ball in play. Um, if the ball passes the bat, you will lose a life and the ball will be reset on the bat ready to start again. If you lose all four lives, the game is over. Each level is patrolled by an enemy. If the ball hits the enemy, the enemy is destroyed, but the ball's angle will change and speed will be temporarily increased. Destroying a brick sometimes reveals a bonus hidden underneath it, which will then fall towards the bottom of the screen. These bonuses can be collected by your bat. Oh, it stores more than five, four lives. I got a bonus life. Yeah. And I died. You got five. And it went down to four. It ah. didn't go down to four. It stayed. Oh, at four. it stayed. Gotcha. Damn it. And I lost another one. Brick also includes Brick that. 180, a new twist on the classic brick oh, breaking don't genre. Don't read that out. Because we're not going to play 180 yet. Okay. Oh, actually, you can read it out. Go for it. Uh, featuring unique levels, dual bats, and a rotated play area. Brick 180 differs from similar games by the use of two bats, one at the left side of the screen and another at the right. So that's what we'll be playing after this. Yeah. The player controls both bats simultaneously, requiring great skill and fast reactions. There we go. Very cool. Level one. Uh, if I remember correctly, similar assembler version of the game. Yes, uh, Paranoid, which we played recently. Yes, yes, yes. Um, which is, you know, a new game. And it's in Assembler, so they are able to take advantage of other tricks to make um, an even more impressive version of Arkanoid. But I thought I'd play this because it's in the same kind of genre. Mm -hmm. But it is very challenging with the joystick. I find I kind of half position it close to where it's going to be. And then if I need to adjust to do it at the last second. Yeah. And catch the ball. Yeah. And that's been fairly successful. Well, yeah. Well, I find one life slight left. taps of the uh, joystick yes. really launch you quite a distance. They so do. You have to be like, very precise. Third level. Yay, three. I want to see three. What do we have? 
Oh, two arrows. <laughs> it's like a gigantic dumbbell. Oh yeah, that too. So the enemy hasn't changed yet. It's just the same enemy. Oh, is it? I he, thought this was made in a I thought they said unique enemies, so I thought oh. I thought it, it, it might change with the level, but obviously not. not. Yeah. I haven't seen a new one. No, it's been the same same enemy. And he wanted to put this in 4K, so he didn't have much space. No, that's that's understandable, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Waste. That's always a problem with Arkanoid. You yes. have to find the balance between getting the ball and getting the bonuses. Yes. Sometimes. And he was able to make the um, the separations in the bricks mm -hmm. with um, some clever tricks as well. But he had to make it flash. So you can see it's kind of vibrating a bit. Yeah. Shimmying. So that's fine. It's not too bad. No, no. It, it actually looks pretty. Yep. <laughs> it like flashes rainbow colors. Shimmering. Oh, that's level right. four. Yay. Something older. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Well, there's lots of breakout games. Oh, yes. Nice. You hit the right one there. That is for sure. Wow. That was very good. <laughs> Love. I always love levels like that where it's like, okay, if you break that brick and get it in there, you basically win the whole level. <laughs> yes. Those are pretty awesome. I can't think of what other breakout game we've played. Breakout game? Yeah, I don't know if you or would know. Knight. I may, I may or may not have played it, so... <laughs> yeah, it depends how long ago. Come on! Darcy oh. or Erlen. Come on, get it! No! Come on, get it. Get it! Yes. Hanging on with one life left. Mm -hmm. there hasn't been any hearts. Oh, a smiley. Well, not smiley. Kind of a neutral face. Oh, there we go. We got to see the neutral face. Nice, the neutral face. So, there is an option to get rid of the shimmering. Oh, really? In the game? Um, with the uh, game select. So now it's not shimmering anymore if that, Funny. If that bothers you. Yeah. But, oh. then you, but then you lose the, the brick look to it. Oh, which interesting. Which is fine. Yeah, it looks fine. It doesn't change the gameplay at all. Oh, uh, no. Just the visuals. Hey, cat. Meow. Sorry. Come on, camera. I think he's getting hot. <laughs> yes. When he's hot, he doesn't want to cuddle as much. No. In the winter, he's a cuddle bug. Yeah. Even more so. Yeah. Okay, so that is that is the game. Nice. Um, I wonder if the paddles could be read e everywhere except the brick block kernel using the lower half. Oh, well, maybe. Um, because there's more time in the lower half. And you don't really move as much, but that might be a little off-putting, like, depending. Like, you'd be... Well, it might be enough. Yeah. Well, you can try. Uh, <laughs> those levels are satisfying, like popping bubble wrap or yeah, hitting down one domino dollars. and creating a chain. Yes. yes. Uh, S is score. S uh, is slow. It's definitely slow. It slows it It does down. slow it down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that is that game. Um, there's not much more to it. I, yeah. got, I got up pretty far in the level. So we're going to take a look at Brick 180 now. Here. Get the navigator. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so... Let's uh, go. Yeah, TSA. Okay. Um, Brick nice. 180, and these were both included on the cartridge, and the cartridge is a 32K game, mm. but both of these are four, so I don't know how that works out. His title screens must have been huge. I don't have that cartridge. Um, he says, hi, I didn't 
I did look at adding paddle support to the original brick, but Batari Basic, it really doesn't seem possible without simplifying the game too much. Mm. In which case, it would just end up being a straight breakout clone. It's more of an issue of a CPU cycles than ROM space. However, this led me to find a way of implementing a breakout style game in 4K with paddle support, individually designed levels, delimited bricks, no flickering, and the result is by rotating the playing field and mirroring the bats. It's just about possible with the lim within the limitations of the 2600 and Batari Basic with a small amount of ASM. The result is Brick 180, so apparently this does use paddles. This has paddle support. Uh, and joystick support. Uh, the 180 aspect is more necessity than design, but I think it provides an interesting twist on the game. As I mentioned in the other post, Brick 180 will be available as a bonus game on the Brick physical cartridge, which is about to be released soon, which now you can check out at Blah. Also, due to popular demand, I've managed to free enough bytes in the original Brick to add the option to turn off the controversial flickering by using the console select switch. This version will also be available on the cartridge. So this oh, does work geez. with joystick, but it is I think it's a lot faster. It is a lot so faster. So we might be breaking oh. out the uh, breaking out the um, paddles for this one. Yeah, it is fast. Yeah. Driving control. <laughs> good luck with the Brick 180. It's a good concept, but I found it to be a glitchy mess, Nathan says. Oof. Oh boy. Okay, we're going to switch over to paddles. Okay. Because I think this is really hard with joystick. So, does this work? Nope. Does this work? Do I have to reset? Select from my screw. I can't start it with the paddles. Can't select the paddles. Too long. Maybe in the final version he didn't include paddles. Hmm. Maybe it senses on boot? Maybe. I'm going to have to do that. Mm. Ready. It's better not misbehave, because it always misbehaves when I'm picking games. Yeah. That's always problematic. Ah! Uh, oh, yeah. I have to do this. Okay. You work. Okay. This is where it fails. Oh! oh yay. Good. Is it sensor? Well, it's not starting with the button. That's not a good sign. Oh, what the hell? Is this not a paddle? It says it's paddle. Well, this is... Hmm. I don't know, maybe... Don't know. Don't know. Not working. Boo. Okay, you're gonna have to go back to joystick. Fair enough. Very hard. <laughs> very, very hard with joystick. I wasn't doing so well on the regular bri bricks. And it's really fast. Oh, may need to plug them into the other port. That's very unusual. But you can do that while I do that. Ugh. Is it acting weird now? No. 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 Oh. It's really hard. Let me restart. Let's see if I can start with the paddles now. Oh. 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 Yay. Yay, Nathan. Wow, that is that's unusual. But I guess to have joystick and paddle support, you have to maybe uh, just didn't know how to do it. Some games that support multiple controller options do it that way. That's I've never played one like that. Yeah. Yeah. Captain Classic, what is the standard port for paddle games? Is it always P1 for all games? That's what Captain Classic was asking. Oh. Mm. I've, I've found it's always the first P0, I guess. I don't yeah. know what they're labeled as. but Interesting. So just by plugging them into the other port, it's okay. It yeah. Well. So joystick in the first port and paddles in the second. Mm. I don't know if they labeled them 0 and 1 or 1 and 2, but... 
it's in the second port. Nathan, I'm wondering when you when you were talking about glitches, what kinds of things were you encountering? I did play this on emulator, mm. and I found the ball goes through the paddle sometimes. Oh, that's not good. No, it's not. It's very hard. It's oh, not... I'm I'm I'm. Wait, 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 wait. Let's catch I think you're better at it than I am too. <laughs> it's very difficult. I'm i yeah. I... Tax scan used uh, also use the right ports. You can leave them plugged in while playing other joystick games. Ah, I see. Oh, Nathan Storm says, "Yep, the ball goes through the paddle." <laughs> It's it's fairly rare. I think it's because it's flickering. Sometimes the ball is flickering and it uses um, hardware collision detection. Because I see the ball phasing in and out, mm. which is very strange. I'm not sure why the ball is phasing in and out. Probably better with a joystick than with the paddle. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. It's the, the concept of up and down with a paddle kind of really messes me up it does even though a paddle doesn't have direction there's no left and right i always think of it as left and right side to side not up and down you can turn the paddle sideways yeah i don't think that's gonna matter <laughs> it's it's my brain that's the problem not the paddle. <laughs> it. because there's very few paddle games that are vertical like this yeah so you're They're always on the bottom we were playing I mean, pong is yeah, like yes yeah, <laughs> we were playing um we james got a game for the switch yeah. That you're really enjoying, which is yes. essentially a game that's just boss battles. It's is the best way to describe it. All boss battles. But like I mecha something. Can't remember. Yeah, and it's like it's it's every every level is just a boss battle, um, like and it's creative. really cool. But it was another game where I was getting very frustrated because the way the buttons were mapped for jumping and shooting unconventional we're unconventional and i just i was getting so frustrated because you know you're hitting a button thinking shoot and then you jump and then and and i think your brain remaps over time it does but i don't i don't adjust to those very quickly anymore <laughs> so <laughs> and especially if you're playing a game like currently went through yeah when um, you're playing a game currently that's mapped differently yes i went through again in a way, you don't want to play a game that's mapped differently because then you get used to it and then it's hard to flip back and forth. It I always is. found found that with um, with the Witcher games. Yeah, they have they have some unconventional sort of button mapping for fighting and jumping and right. Um, and I would find I would I love Witcher three. Yeah. Um, but I could not Went play through. other games <laughs> Went and play. Through. Yeah, I couldn't play other games in Witcher three at the same time because. I'd have to get used, to, reused to it every single time. So I'm losing about half the balls to it going through the paddle. Really? Yep. Yeah. Mm. That's really frustrating. You're doing decently. Uh, yeah. I think it's on angles. On angles, yeah. Certain angles. Oh, I barely got that one. Yeah. It just that was my fault. That one. But it's frustrating having a game where um, yeah. you're playing Nathan's and you... Sh drum. That sh yeah. I should have got that one, I think. Yeah, compared to Pong, yeah, this game is upside down. <laughs> yeah, I think the controls are upside down, too. It feels like you should turn the paddle the other oh. way. Oh! Yeah. And he said it's also doing some weird things to draw the screen, so the ball looks like it's behind a chain-link fence. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening. That's true. It, it it does look a little jumpy, doesn't it? Yeah. It's flickering in and out behind the chain link fence. <laughs> uh, it does. <laughs> look at it. Like it's phasing in and out sometimes. And it's yeah. after it hits a brick. Yeah. It starts flickering. It flickers, yeah. I wanna look at this on an emulator. Yeah. I wanna see if okay. it actually is like there's some grid that we're not seeing. Mm. That is a really good observation. Uh, brick, 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 180. There we go. Switch over to the emulator. Okay. Let's take a look at what's going on here. That's too big. Oh, oh God! He was scared when he saw that joystick. It's a scary joystick. It is a scary joystick. <laughs> oh, He's I like, made is it that a blurry. vacuum? Is that a vacuum? No, it's a joystick. I made it all blurry. There you go. There's the little cat butt. Yes. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Oh. 
I'm so sweet. One second, peoples. Yeah. Where the hell is Zoom? There we go. Okay. So let's take a look at what is going on with this. This is just, oh, I see, like the demo, but... Yeah, it's just the demo. It is, kind of. Yes. Yes, it is going through a chain link fence. <laughs> it is going through a chain link fence. Interesting. So yeah, it is flashing in and out. At least, I can lick in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> At least in the center it is. Wow, good observation. Nathan. Yeah, that it's is exactly funny. going through a <laughs> chain link fence. <laughs> that doesn't explain it going through the paddle, though. Mm. It it actually goes through the paddle to hit it. If you look at the ball closely, it does go through the paddle. It goes a bit. through the paddle. It doesn't hit the edge of the paddle. It goes through it. Mm. So maybe if you hit a corner, it's not. It's going through the corner. Yeah, it's, it it's almost hitting the center of the paddle, not yeah, not the, the edge of, of the paddle. Interesting. So that explains. Yeah, why it's, it's going not through corners. It. Yeah. If they only knew about John's bird trick. <laughs> That's right. That's an interesting way. To, a lot of games do exactly what it's doing here. Yeah. Where it always draws everything, but then changes the color of the thing. Actually, that's not what it's doing. Um, because we're looking at. So it's, oh, I see. It's overlaying. What is it overlaying? The, the brick structure? Yeah. Because it's In got gray? play field. Yeah. Which is the purple. And it's overlaying uh, yellows and uh, reds. Oh, the player characters. Players, okay. not in player one. So it's overlaying. So it, that's how it's using um, for the grid. Interesting. Mm. Very, very interesting. But. Jeremiah says, uh, maybe only checking for collisions every nth frame. Uh, that could be too. It, yeah. it might be software collisions. Yeah. Hardware and, collision requires overlapping the objects. Yeah. And that's definitely mm -hmm. not what's happening because you can see it going halfway into the paddle. Oh, it has to overlap. Yeah. Sometimes you, the ball completely disappears in the paddle. Seems to be a bit better this time. Or it's um, yeah. doing the collision detection. Yeah, every two frames. Mm. Um, Maybe, yeah. Or okay. it's doing the collision sense. detection at a different time than it should. Yeah. And sometimes... It's a little delayed. Almost. When you don't... Oh, look at that. It was yeah. hitting it inside the back yeah. wall. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, there's, some, there's a, a few issues that probably could have been um, fixed up. And the priority order mm. of the ball and the player characters in the center should have been switched around so the ball is... Or whatever it's using for the ball. What is it using? Blue. Yeah, ball. <laughs> it's using the ball for the ball. Using the ball. And so that priority should have ch been changed because there's... Well, maybe he couldn't uh, change it because of the sides. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyway. Interesting. It's very Always interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yep. Interesting analyzing how they how they make the games. Uh, speaking of, how is your game going? I haven't done any work in the past few weeks on it, unfortunately. You've been busy, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think I'll be getting back to it and doing some more work cool. on it. Nice. I haven't actually got any screens, like displays going that I've made, just other people's and starting to try and adapt them. Nice. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I do need to work on that some more and get something, something visual. That you can show. That yeah. I can show. Yeah. Well, I don't want to give it away early because then no, people will fair. guess what it is. Yeah. I want to actually get it to a certain point. Yeah. And then show it and they'll go, oh, I want it playable. Yeah. Really. The yeah. first time I show it. Yeah. In some playable form. In some form. form. Where Not you can, perfect, but playable. Where you can move yeah. and where you can die. Yeah. That's all I want. Yeah. Um, there's no doesn't have to be score or anything, just moving and dying. That's mm. it. Yeah. 
very, uh, very, very interesting. Yeah. I, I really love analyzing games because then that informs well, me. Well, you're learning as well, right? Yeah. yeah. So it yeah. teaches me, even even looking at other people's games. Uh, oh, let's go back to us now. If Where's, I if I were to develop a game, it would be like that. My notes. Are you in my notes? That pitfall style game, adventure, whatever it was. The cat. This. Yeah. The cat loves sleeping on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> your phone, your tablets. Sorry. He loves electronics. They're nice and warm. So continue. What were you saying? I, uh, if you were going to make. If a I game? were to conceive of a game, it would probably be somewhat like that. Um, what was it? Uh, what did you call it? Adventure. Um, Hero's Journey. Here. No, no, no. The one we played today, the Pitfall style game. Oh, okay. With levels. Yep. But it would be cats. Cats. And they'd be jumping over obstacles. Cat platformer. Yeah. I've I've <laughs> I've thought about a cat platforming game. Yeah. Because there isn't one. Yeah. And I think that would be really fun. Yeah. Like they'd be catching. Mm -hmm. Probably to make it fun, they'd be catching moths, because they can fly around anywhere in oh, the screen. Oh, that's true, yeah. Because mice, it's only a single plane. Yeah. Cat former. Yes, yeah. Nathan's drawing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cute, sounds like a plan. <laughs> so maybe I'll make that my second game. Yeah, second game. You I'll, help play... you I'll help you design it. I'm not sure I can help too much with the coding. But, and you can uh... play either Pixel or Atari. You can they... pick them? And they either they both have different abilities. One is faster, but can't jump as higher. Can't yeah. jump as high. One is slower, but can jump higher. Or something like that. What? What? So how More would reach. you translate? Uh, Pixel is a, it can definitely jump higher than Atari, but Atari is a little bit faster. Like he runs around and plays a lot, so he you does. could you could trade off that way. He could be That's a little right. bit faster, and Pixel could jump a little bit higher. <laughs> so. And there's there can be mice. They'll be on the ground. Mm -hmm. so they'll be on a different plane than the what? moths, and the moths could be up high. Yeah, they like moths. They could be cat treats to get. Yeah. To collect. What would their enemies be? There would be an orange cat because they have a nemesis <laughs> cat that has gotten on our balcony before. Oh, um, gingerbread man has cats in it, but they're the enemies. Yeah, we have there to make would them be the protagonist. There would be an orange cat and a vacuum cleaner, and I think oh, those vacuum two. Cleaner. Yeah, the vacuum cleaners. Just, yeah. yeah, you can come out every once in a while, and you have to avoid the it. vacuum cleaners Run away. in our house. We have a little one and a big one. Are hated so much if they are out in the open space, not plugged in, nothing. <laughs> Atari will walk past it, stare at it, and hiss at it, even when it's not on. <laughs> just like, sitting dormant. Just pure hatred. This cat just purely, purely Ooh. hates the, the vacuum. Herding cats. That's not a bad one. Herding. <laughs> but there's already a game called Pug. Pug. What? Herding Pugs? Oh, what is, is there? Pug Farm. Oh, Pug, Pug Farm. Farm. Which is yeah. similar. They're not really herding the pugs. They're preventing the pugs from escaping. Yeah. Which is hilarious and i hope they continue it but they haven't had an update in a while vacuum cleaner the natural enemy of all cats yes so i think that needs to be in it yeah and then you could have like little keys so that that you'd have the end of a level so you pick up certain things and yep. then a door would open and then you'd have to say jump up on the mantle and knock everything off of it or something like that. oh knocking off for bonus a yeah bonus <laughs> knock 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 because the button the button would be your your paw and up would be the jump. Yeah. And there'd be little cat shelves that you can jump up and yeah. try and get them off and stuff. Done. It's done. It's already done. Perfect. Yeah. I figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be a future game. Yeah. Vacuum cleaner, the natural. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's see what's coming up um, on Zero Page in the coming weeks. Um, next week, we've got a spotlight on a filmmaker actually and he has converted three of his films into atari 2600 games really yes that is so cool <laughs> and they've only been put out on cartridge okay so we have the binaries for all three. Oh, nice yeah that's um, nice. so we'll be uh, asking questions of and the name of the person is joe grisafi mm -hmm. and the three movies slash games conjoined dead of night and laughing boy and we're also going to have a spotlight on the uh, Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion Volume 4 release. Nice. Which will be available Exciting. Um, during that show as yep. well. And yep. that's made by Arena Foot, Brian Mathern. I was going to say, shout out to Arena Foot. I don't, yep. I don't see him here today. He's probably working, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he was able to make it today. Yeah. Dogs did not like them too. So yeah. maybe we'll put dogs as well in the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then on uh, next sun that's on Wednesday. Next Sunday is the spotlight on Thomas Yanch, 
um, with a video interview. So we're going to be having yes. him live on the show. Nice, nice, nice. And there nice. he is. He's typing right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be going through all of his games. Awesome. Um, playing yeah. the one by one, talking yeah. about them, mm -hmm. talking about his history of uh, programming and um, everything else. Nice. And so if you have questions for Thomas, I am about to post um, a, a thread in the Zero Page Homebrew Club. And I'll point to that from the Zero Page Homebrew Twitch thread. <laughs> Chronology. It will be chronological. <laughs> it will be. Nice. And I've already got them arranged and ready. Yeah. And we'll be ending up with uh, Robot uh, City, uh, which will be coming out. Nice. Um, in July. Yeah. Shortly after we do the interview. Uh, what time will that be? That will be the exact same time this week. So 11. Next week, sorry. On uh, Sunday. At 11 on Sunday. Yeah. So exactly the same time. Nice. Um, as today's show mm. yeah so make sure you tune in for that because you'll be able to ask um, Thomas questions uh, live as well mm. as well as beforehand so definitely tune in for that um, and then beyond that uh, we'll just be playing it by ear lots of games that I could be uh, that I have uh, in reserve and uh, any ones that come up as well mm. um, perfect for Europe exactly hmm. could that be planned because Thomas is in Europe? Yes. So it'll be, it's good for Europe and good for North America. I find the early shows are good for most people. Not good for Australians. I think that's about the only... And uh, mm. Eastern, like, Asia, I guess. But I don't know of anybody who's ever tuned in from Asia. So <laughs> uh, so it's it's pretty much just Australian and New Zealand. Mm. Yeah. Had to be perfect for Europe. Exactly. Yeah. No, we're going to get Thomas at 3 in the morning. <laughs> no. um, so thank you so much, everybody, mm -hmm. for tuning in um, and for uh, commenting along in live. All the people that are here today typing Thrust26, Dianoid, and thank you so much, um, Dianoid, for letting us play your updated version of Tower of Rebel. That was a lot of fun. Hardly any Japanese Atari 2600 fans around. I've never heard it mentioned in the forums about somebody from japan i don't know how big atari was there. well like the console i don't think it was as big as it was big. here i don't know yeah. that's a good question thank you Jupiter also Storm. you know there's thank language you, barrier there too but there yeah. is <laughs> yeah so it would be very difficult for them to even be on the forums yeah. or watch yeah. the show yeah they could watch they may the have show their they own, be able to their own communities if, if they probably yeah. would yeah, yeah. just yeah. like Bra difficult. just like brazil and yeah. south america have their own um, Facebook forums yeah. and things like that. Of course, yeah. yeah. Japan was more into Lynx and Jaguar. Jaguar, oh. yeah, that makes sense. Atari didn't make it to Japan. I, I yeah. I don't know. The original, like the 2600? There was a 20, one called the 2800. Um, oh, really? That made it to Japan. Okay. And it's very rare. Yeah. I, I can't remember. I think it had it's very flat and had very flat and looked very futuristic. Mm. 80s futuristic. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so thank Impaler26, Captain Classic, Dan ABC, Carl G, Jupiter Storm 17, Thrust26, Dan ABC, Dianoid, Jeremiah K, or Jeremiah518, thank you for uh, letting us play your game yes, as well. Yes, very cool. Uh, Metal Learner 7, Splendid Nut, uh, Captain Classic, Captain Classic. Uh, I Spoke Stuff, Carl G, Mr. Fix. Who else? Scroll, and back. scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh, just, just Jeff, Jeff. yeah. Thank you as well for your game, um, B Blocks, which is going to be renamed to something else, I'm sure. Uh, Al Nefer, way back in the chat. Is that it? That, uh, oh, stakeholder, what is that? Oh, new, new name. New name, Stakeholder. Welcome to the show. I think I missed that. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Like the show today. It's a nice variety of games. Yeah. Uh, we played Tower of Rubble, which was tons of fun as always. Mm -hmm. um, talked about that ad, ad nauseum on other shows but yep, good, good. it's it's great yep. we're really looking forward to the release of that and the nice box mm -hmm. um b blocks great start to a game i can't wait for the improvements and you know multiple matchings and time versions jungle adventure great concept great look to it um it's too bad he abandoned it and didn't make, take it further but he did lose the code which is very, yeah, very disheartening. Sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, and Brick, um, very interesting breakout slash Arkanoid yeah. clone. Very cool. And so good variety. I like variety. That's what I usually try. I don't put like 
five pong games. <laughs> it's like, oh, another pong, another yeah. pong. Try and vary it up. It's like, yeah. oh, a platformer or a shooter or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then Metal, Metal Atari 1969 says, happy birthday, Tanya thank and Dionor. <laughs> and thank you. Mm -hmm. So we'll see everybody uh, back on Wednesday at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. For the uh, spotlight on Joe uh, Grisalf, Grisafi, Grisafi. Better learn to know, pronounce his name. Yeah, Grisafi. Um, I don't think uh, he won't be on video, but uh, I'll ask him some questions. Nice. And, okay. And get some in, answers. In chat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if he's in chat. Yeah. Um, or pre-prepared beforehand. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so thanks everybody for tuning in, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye bye everyone. Bye.